Hey there! If you're a kid, and you don't think that bee barf sounds like something that you want to eat, then this video is for you. Ew. Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan, and welcome to another vegan nugget. I'm so excited to be making another video just for you. So far in my videos for kids, we've talked about why we don't drink milk or eat meat or eggs, and heard from real vegan kids about why they don't, and all of the tasty foods that they do eat instead, and even talked about how you can be a superhero for the planet, the people, and the animals by being vegan. You can watch all of those videos later if you want, linked up there and in the video description. Now, just like in my other videos, I promise that I'll tell you the truth no matter what, and that I won't talk down to you, because you're pretty smart. If you don't already know, being vegan means you don't eat animals, or anything that comes out of them, like milk, eggs, cheese, and, as we'll learn today, honey. So what's wrong with honey? Well, today we're going to talk about how honey is made, which is pretty gross, why taking it from the bees who make it isn't good for them, and why farming bees isn't good for the environment. Let's start with how honey is made. You probably already know that honey comes from bees, but even most adults don't know exactly how it is that bees make honey. Well, bees fly out to flowers and they suck the nectar from the flowers with this long, tongue-like thing called a proboscis. They keep the honey in their honey stomach, or crop, because unlike us, they have two stomachs, and then when they get back to the hive, they barf. <laughs> What's even grosser is they barf into the mouth of another bee. Then the bees keep barfing the honey back and forth between each other until they finally spit it into their hive for safekeeping. Now this sounds pretty gross to you and me, and certainly not something that I want to be eating, but for bees, making and eating honey is totally natural and quite tasty. And honestly, it's pretty awesome to see the incredible things other animals do. And the making of honey is pretty darn incredible. Each bee visits 50 to 100 flowers to fill their honey stomach. To make just one pound of honey, bees from the hive have to visit 2 million flowers and fly 55,000 miles. That's farther than going around the whole world twice. Bees really are incredible. In fact, to tell other bees where the good flowers are, bees will come back to the hive and do what's called a waggle dance, where they shake their booty around. And just by watching what direction the bee is waggling and for how long, other bees know where to find the flowers. It's all based on some pretty incredible math and some pretty incredible booty action. I haven't gotten it down yet. This brings me to the second part about why vegans don't eat honey. Farming bees isn't good for them, and taking their honey away, which is their food and the food that they feed to their little bee babies, certainly isn't good for them. Bees need their honey to survive. They do all of the hard work, literally flying around the world two times over, to make food for themselves and their families. And then we humans step in and we take it and put it on our breakfast cereals and cinnamon buns. That's not very fair if you ask me. Honey farming also hurts bees. Bees, like other animals and like us, can feel pain. And just like we talked about in our videos about meat, milk, and eggs, it doesn't make sense to hurt anyone who can feel pain. For a beehive to work, they need a queen bee, it's kind of the big bossy mama bee who runs the show. Now, this part is kind of sad, but beekeepers have their queen bees and even their whole bee colonies shipped to them in the mail. The bees can be injured and even killed when being shipped. And when the queen arrives, the beekeepers often tear off her wings so that she won't fly away. The queen is also forced to be pregnant by what's called insemination, which is a big word and a pretty awful thing for the queen. She's stuck in a tube where she can't move and she's poked and prodded. In the winter, beekeepers often kill their entire hives, which can be anywhere between 20,000 to 80,000 bees. You may wonder why they do this. Well, like a lot of other weird things that adults do, it's because of money. Now the last thing we're going to talk about is how farming bees isn't good for the environment. You may hear that we need bees to have our food, and that's true. With all of the flying from flower to flower that they do, bees are doing something called pollinating, which means helping plants make more plants. But honeybees aren't the best pollinators. Other types of bees and insects do a much better job. Honeybees aren't even supposed to be in North America, the continent that I live on, 
and because humans have brought them here, the other bees that lived here first and other insects that pollinate have been kicked out and even died from the diseases that the honeybees brought with them. We do need bees in order to have our own food, but we need native bees and native pollinators to do their work, not the honeybees. All in all, honey's kind of a hot mess. It's barfed, chewed, swallowed, and rebarfed by bees. Taking it from the bees is super mean because it's their food that they worked really hard to make for themselves and their families. Beekeepers harm and even kill bees in order to farm the honey, and it's not good for other bee species or the environment. So maybe we should just leave honey to the bees, shall we? But there's good news. If you really love the sweet taste of honey, there are other things that you can have instead. You can use something called agave nectar, coconut nectar, make your own date paste, or use a vegan honey substitute. I have links to all of those and other resources in the blog post for this video, which you can find linked up there and in the description below. And when you don't eat honey, you help bees everywhere feed their little bee babies. And that's pretty cool. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments. And if you have other things that you'd like me to cover, feel free to tell me. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it around to help other kids learn the truth. If you're new here, do hit that big red subscribe button down there for more awesome vegan content every Monday, Wednesday, and some Fridays, and to not miss out on the rest of my videos for kids. If you're an adult and want to help support Bite Size Vegan, check out either of the support links in the video description below, or click on the Nugget Army icon there or the link in the sidebar. Now go live vegan! Leave honey to the bees, and I'll see you soon. Coming up on Honey Bee TV, it's tonight's episode of So You Think You Can Waggle, where the hive's 40,000 bees square off in a booty-shaking bonanza to impress the queen. Stay tuned.